Hey guys, welcome back. Come on in and get settled. Today we are going to cover the modified panels start to finish. No frills, no fluff, no projects, just instruction. If you are new around here, my name is Brenda Lambert and I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. I hope that you will join our little crafting community that we have going on here. Now, if everyone is ready to learn, let's do this. We're going to start today with the weld function. You want to grab a couple of shapes to start with. I've got a square and a circle. Make sure they are overlapping, select them both, and click on weld. That turns both elements into one. Now let's take a look at how we can use this in our designs. I've selected a heart from Flexi Shapes, duplicate it so that there are three of them. Rearrange them, make sure the endpoints are overlapping, click weld. Now I have an arc. I'm going to turn this into the stem. I've adjusted it, clicked convert to path, get it set just right, then select all of that and click weld. I'm going to change it to green. You can also find the weld function by right clicking on your element. Let's look at some text. Pick a script font, and you will notice when I zoom in here that there are extra cut lines in between the letters. In order to get rid of those, you just want to um, right click on it and weld. You're going to want to group everything together after that. And you can see when we go to the send panel that it's now just one smooth cut. Let's take a look at subtract and subtract all. We have our shapes again. Select them both, subtract all. That will leave the top element whole and it will cut away the overlap from the bottom element. We'll select them both again, hit subtract, and that takes away the top element completely and cuts part of the bottom element away as well. Now let's look at this in real life. We're going to create either a cauldron or a pot for pot of gold, whichever. I've started with some ovals. I'm going to select all of that and weld. And change that to a different color. Get it situated. And then I am going to select those elements and click on select, uh, subtract all. Now that piece fits perfectly in there, which is excellent for layering designs. I'm going to grab an arc and make some handles here. Then I'm going to select the three pieces there and weld them together. Let's take a look at divide. We've got our square and our circle back. If we select them both and click on divide, we are left with three different pieces this time. Keep in mind that when you are working with the modify panel, that it makes a big difference as to which element is on top. You want to play around with all of these features and get a feel for how they work. And remember that the undo button is your friend. Just click the undo button. If you make a mistake, it will take you right back to where you started from and you can try again. Now let's look at crop. When I select both of the items and click on crop, it takes away everything that was not overlapping. Now let's look at a PNG that I created. This is a Tumblr wrap and we're going to use the divide and crop features. I create my rectangle and now I'm going to draw out a very skinny rectangle and change the color, put it at an angle. I'm going to duplicate this 
and then I'm going to flip it horizontally. When I move it over, that gives me a V shape. Now I can select both of those and click Weld, and that will turn it into one element. Select both pieces, click on Divide, and that will cut off all of the extra bits that we don't need and get rid of those. It also separates all of the parts of the blue rectangle. Let's put them back. We're going to work with the middle V part and we are going to fill it now with our fill panel or we can bring in a gold background just find it here let's move that out of the way kind of rearrange things here bear with me okay we're going to bring the middle V to the front place it on top of the gold background we're going to then select both and use crop and that fills it with the background color and you can see how it is starting to look like the PNG that I had created. We can also use the crop feature for resizing a PNG without distorting the image. So I have a rectangle the size that I need for my design. I bring in the PNG, which is typically huge. Let's resize it up, oh, hit the lock aspect ratio button. Try again. Now I'm going to bring my rectangle to the front select both, center it, and then crop. That allowed me to take a square background PNG and turn it into a rectangle without distorting it. For the intersect feature, we're back to our shapes, select both, intersect, and you're left with just whatever was overlapping. Okay, now we're going to look at make and release a compound path. I'm gonna take the two shapes and get them centered I'm going to click on make and the best way to actually demonstrate this is with the offset feature so I'm going to make a star fill it in with color here so we can see it better I'm going to select the star and then create an offset I'm going to adjust the spacing Once the offset has been applied, I'm going to select both of them, right click, or you can go to the modify panel, select make a compound path, and then fill it with color. You can release the compound path, and then you'll have your two original shapes. The last function in the modify panel is detach lines, and we're going to cover that in just a second. But First, I would like to ask you if you found any value at all in this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. Let's go ahead and release that compound path. We'll move that square away so we can use our circle here. When we go to the send panel, we can see that, yes, the cut line is intact. Back to the design area, detach the lines, move the color away. Now in the sun panel, you can see that the cut line has definitely been moved. That's it. That is all there is to the modify panel. It does take some getting used to. So go ahead and play around with each of the features and functions and get used to what they do. Remember, if you make a mistake, you can always hit the undo button and go right back to where you started from. Another tip is that before you even start um, playing around with the modify panel, you can duplicate whatever you're working on and set it to the side so you have the original copy safe and sound and then you have more confidence to use the modify panel and know that you're not going to lose the work that you've already gotten done the next video i do believe is going to be some stickers for saint patrick's day you're not going to want to miss it so if you have not yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.